Hi, this is Stacy, and welcome to my show today. I just want to go over today about the chakra bowls. A lot of people were asking me questions about the chakra bowls and about meditation and about healing crystals. And today I want to go over the importance of different chakra bowls. I have today the crown and I have the eye uh, in front of me. And the chakra bowls, they control every cell in the body. And they also help with the alignment of good health. And they also, you know, can help us meditate. And sound, sound therapy is very relaxing. It can relax the entire body. And when the seven chakras are in line with each other, you have overall better health. When the chakras are out of alignment, you'll notice that certain parts of you yourself won't feel right. You may experience certain discomforts in your body. You may not be able to focus. Your clarity might be off. A lot of times people have sometimes shoulder problems. They have pain in their shoulders and they don't understand why their shoulders are bothering them. Well, sometimes it's because you're holding too much weight on. And when I mean holding too much weight, you have a lot of things going on in your life. You might feel overstressed. And sometimes we feel it in our bodies. Our bodies become our muscles starting to tight. We, it causes inflammation. Certain parts of our body might ache and hurt, and it all could be due to stress. Meditation is very important. And one way you can do meditation and you can align the chakras so you have overall good health is by sound therapy and using the crystal balls. And these are the chakra balls. And I'm gonna show you how to use them. I have different wands that I use. And a lot of times I'll just take 15 minutes during the day, either in the morning, afternoon, or even sometimes at night before I go to bed, and you'll notice the different sounds. And first I like to tell my clients to take a deep breath in, to close your eyes, and just imagine just clarity. Just close, let everything clear out of your brain. And just don't think about anything. Just focus on the quietness around you. Focus on what's going on around yourself. Just the quiet sounds, anything that you could pick up in the room. And make sure you do this in a room that is quiet and that has not much noise. And you also can light candles. I have many candles that I have. I have the solar plexus candle. I have the heart. And you can get these in many stores, they sell them. We also have the spirit candle, a very relaxing candle, and this is very good for relaxation. And we have the third eye candle, which helps to actually bring your intuition and increase your intuition so a lot of times we do things on the spur of the moment sometimes and sometimes our if we listen to our intuition our intuition knows what we're supposed to be doing it's trying to give us guidance it's trying to give us help but sometimes we don't pay attention to our intuition we, when something's sometimes inside you says oh i don't think you should do that maybe you should go with this and sometimes if we don't pay attention we don't realize that our body this uni the universe is trying to give us direction and we need to listen to our intuition, listen to our heart. A lot of times people think it's the brain that gives us signals, but it's really the heart that sends messages to the brain and our intuition tries to relieve them and tries to tell us what's going on in our lives. And we also have the brow, which is wisdom and it gives us vision to see for the future. And we also have the sacral candle. And a lot of times I will light them at night and I will take in the scents and I will listen to them. Now after you close your eyes and you meditate and you clear your mind, you take in some deep breaths. You breathe in the good air, you breathe out the bad air. And a lot of times my clients will lie down while they're doing this. They'll breathe in the good air and they'll breathe out the bad air. 
they'll clear their mind, they'll start to focus on the sounds around them, the quietness, the clarity, and all they'll focus on is what's going on in the present. And that's what's thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, not thinking about the things they have to do, but thinking about what is going on. Hi, Mountain. Hi, Mary. How you doing? It's a pleasure to have you here. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. And a lot of times after we're meditating and we're clearing our mind, we feel clarity, we feel relaxed. And we just, I tell them, envision a dove. Think of a dove taking away all, everything around you that causes stress and let it fly away. Focus on the present, focus on the sounds around you, focus on the quietness that surrounds you, the beauty of nature, the sun, the nighttime, the moon, whatever is going on that brings peace and serenity, the sounds of the ocean going back and forth. Put that in your head, just the sounds of the ocean or raindrops falling from the ground. A lot of times many people find that very common and soothing, just the noises of the, of the rain just dropping down to the floor. As I'm doing this, Taking the sound of the healing bowls. You can control the sounds by moving them around. They could be softer or louder. Listen to them. Think about the parts of the body that are causing you distress. Think about the stresses in your body that feel off, the parts of your body that don't feel right. And listen. Breathe slow. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you take in those sounds, think about the positivity in your life, think about the good things, and let go of the negativity in your life. Remember, we all make mistakes in life. We all have our downs. We learn from our mistakes. We learn as a person. When we go through life, we have our downs, we have our falls in life, but take it as knowledge. And when you think about the things in your life that cause you any type of stress, take out the positive things and think about the knowledge you've learned when going through different triumphs in your life. What did you learn? And make sure you don't mis make those mistakes again. Use them as learning experiences. The bigger the, the obstacle, the more we learn from it and the stronger we become. And the stronger we become, the better and more knowledgeable we become. We make better choices for the future. And when you make mistakes, especially when you make mistakes in front of people, don't make, don't feel bad about it. Don't say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say, oh, 
I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. I'll try harder next time, or I'll do it this way, or how would you like me to do it? And let them answer. Remember, listening is the key. When we are in public with people, people don't always want to hear our voice. They want to hear what you have to say, what the other person has to say. So listen to others and then respond with a positive note. Because people most of the time don't want to hear what you have to say. They want to talk about them and what they have to say. And sometimes they're looking for help and they're looking for it for guidance. So be that person to guide them. Be that person to give them the help, the support that they need. Be a listener, don't be a talker. Because by being a listener and by responding in a positive way, not only are you helping somebody else, you're helping yourself become a better person. So start the day out with some meditations you, you can pick up any type of chakra bowls on Amazon. I have found them to be the least expensive on, on Amazon. Each chakra bowl has, has different sounds. I just happen to like these two. And these two kind of open up your mind to the universe. It strengthens you so you're able to actually be able to contact and listen to what the world has to say to you. Be a listener and then react. Your intuition will become stronger. You will become stronger as a person. And remember, the world wants a listener, not someone that's always about them. They want people out there that are gonna be listeners and helpers. That's how you better yourself as a person, and that's how you help others, and that's how you grow and become stronger as a person and that's how you reach the levels of success, your def definition of success, because everyone has a different, different level of success. Personal growth is important, and those are the keys of personal growth. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And like always, I offer my book, Empower Yourself. Don't let your conditions empower you. It's on my coachstacychalemi.com slash free book uh, page. And I also offer coaching sessions, free coaching sessions. You can go on my website, coachstacychalemi.com or even stacychalemi.com and you can book a 30 minute coaching session for free. I'd love to hear your input. I'd love to hear your question. DM me on, on Instagram and I'm always here for you and I'd love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.